Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to connect your Kronos Remote app to your Kronos using the Bluetooth connection. Since the iPad already has Bluetooth integrated, there is nothing to be done here, but you need to have some kind of Bluetooth MIDI dongle for your Kronos. As an example, I have a dongle from Yamaha here. <clears throat> it's called the UDBT01 and um, this one works pretty well. It's the one I've been using for development. So let's start with this one. Um, we first remove the connection to the iPad and instead we connect the Bluetooth dongle. As you can see, this dongle has two connections. One is here, second one is here. Um, this connector is actually only used for power supply. So you can plug this one into um, a US any USB power supply and it's gonna work. But this one is not supposed to transmit any MIDI data. The MIDI data is only transmitted through this USB port and uh, this connects to the Kronos using a printer style USB cable. So this cable plugs into the USB B port. It's important that you use the USB B port. If you have some kind of dongle that plugs into the USB A port, it might not work. So we use the USB B port with the USB cable and this end plugs into the dongle dongle is working, it's transmitting MIDI data, we are Bluetooth now, so we are ready to go from the Kronos side. What is missing now is um, the iPad configuration. Obviously you need to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on the iPad. And then you can see up here there's a button that says tap for Bluetooth. So if we tap here, you can see that there's the dongle already um, available. It's not connected yet, so you need to select it. It's connecting now to the dongle and we're connected say done. And you can see up here that it says Bluetooth connected. And what we can do here <clears throat> is to um, remotely control the Kronos. That's it basically. Um, two things to mention. The Bluetooth connection is limited um, compared to the USB cable connection. So there will be no transmission of bigger SysX dumps, which means that you cannot uh, sync the preset names or the set list contents if you only have the Bluetooth connection available. So you always need to do the synchronization once with the USB cable connection and once you have the data, especially the set lists stored offline on the iPad, uh, you can use the Bluetooth connection to send program changes and mode changes and uh, control the Kronos like you would in a live situation. Um, second thing, this is uh, very specific to this dongle. Um, it's not a very nice solution to have this USB power supply all the time with you. So you, instead of using this USB power supply, you can also use um, the USB A ports of the Kronos not to, trans MIDI, not, not to transmit MIDI, as I said, but to use it as a power supply. So you plug in the dongle here and you can reconnect it and it's working. Yeah, that's it for the Bluetooth connection.